Welcome back to Vedanta Disc Golf and to another episode of New Kid in the Bag, which is also kind of Patreon sponsored bag or bin it. Mostly because one of my patrons actually asked me, hey, could you do any legacy discs? And I was like, let me reach out to Legacy and Legacy hooked it up. They sent us out 10 discs and we're at a field before we go to Bill Frederick T2, which is a pretty tight wooded course where beating par is good. I shot two down there with my own bag a little bit ago. So we're gonna try to shoot two down with these discs. If we can't get two down, one of these goes into the giveaway bin where there's already a disc or two from my wild discs video. And if we can't beat par, basically, we have to shoot two down or one down in order to not give two discs away. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, stable. Flippy. Ooh, that's going far. Oh, that's going real far. Nose up. Flips it easy as well. Oh, kind of gladier than I expected. I don't even know the numbers on this. Straight. Those are the numbers. Laser beam. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's gonna feel weird to putt with. All right, hole one. A lot of good discs in here. I feel like we should be able to shoot pretty good. Legacy might be a little more underrated than people give it credit for. Hole one, we're going up and then way up the hill. Basically, we just want to land at the back side of that wall of trees and such. I think the play is a mid range, which I'm going to go with the gauge. I don't actually know the numbers on this. Straight. Those are the numbers, but it feels kind of like an MD3. Let's go gauge. Oh, baby. Throw a better shot, I dare you. I will say though, when I played this course and shot two down, I did have a forehand. So that might make life easier, but it's all good. We don't need it. I was gonna go very straight. It's a tight line for the backhand. This one will be a forehand. I could backhand through this little gap. You know what, let's go for it. You know, even with the little kiss, we're parked. Oh. I do want to get a couple putts in on here, see how it feels, but a par is fine. A little disappointing with such a great drive, but I really miss a forehand. I should probably practice putting before we get to the next hole after I put this one out, because it's got an interesting little lip at the bottom here. It says the numbers are 2301. It's a little deep. This does feel a little glidey, which is nice. All right, hole two, 305, straight up, and then back to the left. I'm thinking Patriot, maybe. 75 negative 21, this is the Icon Edition. I've heard a lot of really good things about this disc. It does flip up to flat, but I think if I throw it like a mid-range on some hyzer, it should pop up and finish right around 300 feet. Yes! No, don't hit it. Oh, okay. I don't mind throwing things how I wanted and just being wrong about the disc especially with new stuff, because that means that my hit point was right. A little 55-ish footer boy. Low. Right on line, right on line, right on line. 345 feet, hole three. Basically where that stuff hangs down, close to that gap, you wanna get around it and then start finishing. It could be the Patriot again. It's not as flippy, I don't think, as the numbers would suggest out of the box. Just looking at the profile, it looks pretty neutral. The two other options are the Phenom, which is 85 negative 1, 2. The Pinnacle Edition, which seems to be more of like a sea lioness, championish plastic. And the Rival, another Pinnacle Edition, similar, 7502. The Rival seems slightly more stable. I think we're going to go with the Phenom. Just like that. Stay turned. Get around that. Oh, kind of really like that actually. Probably just the clutch again. There are a couple discs that could be approach-esque. This is the Pursuit 5303. I thought it would be more like Justice, but it seems to have a little more glide than that. Maybe even more glide than my Ursuses do, which are 5403. And then the Ghost 4503. Very interesting profile. Like just got a very big bevel, but it's pretty round otherwise. Is that a bead? It's kind of bead adjacent. This one doesn't have one either. Pretty interesting. I think we'll just pitch up the ghost. Oh my, that slipped. 
still basically under the basket. It's like 10 feet, but the way I'm putting today, who knows? All right, hole four, 317, down this corridor to the right. Seems like a really good shot for the gauge, which I've been throwing all right. It's all nose angle, this shot. A little bit of line, obviously, too, but. Oh, yeah. No, it's a tree! Jeez, I suck at throwing that shot right now. Lift it a little long. I think I definitely stand up too much on these. I don't know why I wasn't confident in this, but I just was not. That's why, there we go. All right, way to listen to your intuition, baby. All right, hole five is a 908 foot par four, snaking up this way all the way around and then back up to the left. Not going to be easy at all. So there's a roller to get there, but I tried that in a round before and I threw it into that tree because I suck at rollers. It was with the 13 speed though, which I think was way too fast. I think I might try the roller with the bandit. It's nine five negative two one. So it's not super, super flippy like you might want or need for this shot. But I do think it's flippy enough based on how I threw it, that if I just get it down right on a pretty flat angle, it should roll straight a little and hopefully finish to the right. We just really need it to finish uh, somewhere out there. I could throw the air shot and the forehand is by far the best shot. I just am not trying to throw that right now. Yes. Oh, those were terrible bounces. What the heck were those bounces, dude? All right, now we got a pretty serious choice to make. Cause we could, I wanted it to land out in the middle here. Cause I could see the basket from here. From this tee pad, I think it's still 750 feet. Yeah, 700, it was 800 feet. The outlaw is the other distance driver that I have, but that is very stable. I think overstable destroyer, if you could think about it like that. I could go up and over everything, but I don't think I would make it. I wish I had a forehand, that'd be so good. I could throw a roller or I could just throw a hard backhand. I just gotta get under this low ceiling. And I think I'm gonna have to do it with the bandit again. The cannon is too much disc and it's not gonna flip enough. Hard backhand. Or I could throw a roller over everything. I think I like that. <clears throat> get down. Okay, I saw it curl up. That's a lot harder. Okay, I made the right call. I did make the right call. Whoo, that feels good. Getting a par here will be good because you really need to get in position off the drive. Otherwise, it'll be very tough. And there might actually be a look for a birdie if I have the right lane to throw down for my third shot. All right, looks like we're just throwing from one tee pad to the next to the next. We're at the green, which is 392. No matter what, I should be able to save par, which is good. I think to throw a hard flat shot low, through that side gap is good. Probably with the cannon, the outlaw I think is too flippy or too stable. The cannon is very fast. It's 14, five, negative three, three. But I think because it's negative three, three, it'll hold the line I put it on for a while before stabling out, but it will still give me a solid finish, which is what I need here. Get through that. Ah, oh, I was a little bit right of where I wanted that throw to be. All right, there's actually a birdie chance. Oh, I'm pretty proud of thinking of that roller because normally in my head, rollers are to go under things, not to go over things, but going over all that stuff with the roller got me into a really good position with pretty minimal risk. All right, hole number six, it's 317. It's kind of up and over to the left. I didn't hear it hit anything. I also didn't hear it ace, so. <sighs> Birdie. Finally, there's one out of our two. We only need one more and to stay playing safe. Hole number seven, you might be able to slightly see it. It is, oh, this is not an easy shot. All the way straight through there. Um, kinda wanna go down that second fairway and then get down to the bottom. Don't need a crazy shot off the tee. I think Patriot might be really good. Part of me wants to just see, hey, if I flex a really big air shot, how far will it get? Sounds kind of dumb, but I think I'm gonna do it. 
which we did not. Stay in bounds, though. <laughs> Let's see what the smart shot with the Patriot would have been. Wow, Anthony, that is so beautiful. Can we just pretend like I did that first time? Because that's got like 150 straight uphill into the pin. That's going to be all right. It's going to be up and down for a, bur or for a par. Did it go backwards? I think I really just need to push it up there. Probably honestly with the bandit since it's a little flippy and we have kind of more of a finesse forehand. First forehand of the day. Oh man, please help me save par. I can do it for sure. Get under it. Man, man, man. This is makeable, but it is far. Low. Good line. All right, note to self that especially when I'm tired, I am not going to take the stupid line. Normally I shouldn't take the stupid line anyways. Just focus on your hit and hit the gap. This heat humidity saps and stuff out of you. I feel like I'll be safe, but I gotta keep drinking all this water. This hole is only 277 feet. Oh, wind is kept keeping that up. I thought that flipped more. Well, it's down there. Oh gosh, hole nine is 385, straight down the tunnel. You can actually see the basket through that little gap in the trees there. I don't think I can get there with the outlock because it seems pretty steep. I think it's gotta be the cannon. You just gotta get it right down this fairway. A little bit of turn out of the hand. 385 is pretty far, especially right now. Just like that. I think that's parked. What a birdie. Good birdie. All right, hole 10, 303 feet it looks like. All the way down there, straight ahead. There's a really nice forehand gap. Honestly, just the backhand, if you get something that curves and then skips back is really good. It is probably gonna be either the Phenom or the Rival. The Rival's kind of like the T-Bird-esque disc. It's a very good one, honestly, it feels like it. I think the Rival, at a touch of Annie down that right side gap. I wish there was like an overstable nine speed, but I think Rival will do just fine. Smooth. Oh, that slipped out of my hands. Get through. Oh, that's out of bounds. Got a nice little up with either the Pursuit or the Ghost. Yes. Oh, let's go. Stupid bogey, birdie bogey, birdie bogey. Literally right after one another. And that one was just like a little unfortunate on the hands, being a little too sweaty. But then the other thing is just ugh, a little bit of a bad shot. Wish I had a forehand for this one again, because it's 545 feet down this and then pretty hard to the right. I want something that probably finishes a little right, so I think we're gonna go with the honeybee gauge. Oh, and I don't stable out of it. That still, that still has a look. That's good. I'm glad it stayed on that side. I for sure thought that this got further down. So I think a roller is gonna have to be a play, a straight roller that has some finish. Oof. We'll have a straight up and down end. Then the pursuit is. Yes, hit it. Oh, that's fine. This ghost is saving me some strokes. Oh, wow. Spin the disc. Okay, the other way, whatever. All the fundamentals breaking down, but we're still even. That is something, I'm happy with that. All right, hole 12 here is pretty tough. Fence line is OB. This basket is like tucked. Oh my gosh, I still can't, oh, it's way upright. 355 feet. Get under. Oh, that's a fine kiss. Oh, that thing is so flippy. Whoa, I think I juiced the basket. Okay, this bandit kind of booms a bit. This is 355 feet, slightly uphill, little left to right. Boom, putt. What? Yes! Stay smooth, that's all I've been telling myself. Be smooth. 347, straight up the hill. Nice forehand line, 
decent backhand gap. I think again with the Pursuit or with the Rival. Or the Phenom or the Rival, not the Pursuit. That's a, no, no, no. I'm gonna throw the Rival because I really want this to be the disc that I like, but I kind of think it's the Phenom more than the Rival. Get stable out of it. Whoa. Okay. That's a good shot. I think the two times I've thrown that like that, I've expected it to get more stable than it is. I think I left a Bedanza Mini somewhere. Hopefully someone finds it. Whew. Low. I never stood up all the way. All right, 14, we're going to the basket. It's all the way down there. How far is this? It's kind of a, it's kind of a reach, especially with the disc I got in my hand. Maybe not, it's slightly downhill. 350, okay, we're gonna go Patriot. Shoot. Oh, I thought that was just Moss. Oh man, got a shot in. I think we're finally gonna pull out the Pursuit. Not quite parked, but I don't think 10 feet will be too hard. Boom, boom. Four more holes. My elbow is starting to, to whine a little bit. It's not yelling at me yet, but it's whining, so. No more second shots. One more birdie's all we need to cross. Four more holes. A couple are gettable. Next one is gonna be just, I'm playing for par. No stress. No flip. Easy par, easy par. Yes, let's go. Yes. Let's go. Good putt, good putt, good putt. Water carry time. All right, hole 16 should be a birdie. I think it's in the A position at 310 feet. I would love to go outlaw, but there's some trees that are guarding it, so you probably want to come in on a slight amount of Anheuser. I really like the Phenom. Just throw it kind of straight at it. Her little touch of Annie should turn a bit and come back. But the biggest thing is just not getting in this water. Just be smooth. Oh, geez, that's gonna get over, but that was really right. Get through those trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I parked it pretty much. Not the line I wanted to take. We're gonna throw the outlaw at it. I hope we don't lose it, but we're gonna throw it at it. Oh yeah, that would've been great. Skip in. Double parked. This is the Venom. Literal, park job. Oh, two down. We can go four. I'd be happy with, I mean, I'm really happy with two. That's not a bad score out here at all. Probably like 950-ish, I don't really know. Ratings don't matter to me right now because I am not as good as I wanna be. This one is 475 up the hill to the left. You can try to get into that bottom base in there or just try to get up the hill a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go for that tighter line. Be smooth. That's a tree direct of a lifetime, dude. That wasn't a terrible shot, but that is center cut fairway now. All right, now to just not throw away the tree direct of a lifetime. Yes. Oh, that's clean. What a birdie. Good birdie. Thank you, trees. You guys are the best. So this is gonna have to be the squeakiest of squeaky gaps. Looks like it's about 250, straight ahead. But anything that gets up straight and has a straight-ish finish should be fine. Get through these initial couple gaps. Kinda cool, this one has, this is the blue tee, this is the white tee, this is the red tee. So you just gotta back up further and further from the gap, kind of intimidating. But this is 215, so I think we're gonna go honeybee gauge. The slightest amount of hyzer, keep it low and driven. Yeah, that's not gonna be crazy up there for a birdie. Don't need it to be. Just playing simple golf. Big old putt to end it on a turkey. That'd be pretty clutch. Yeah. Let's go, turkey, four down, come on. I honestly gotta say, Legacy is one of the more underrated companies that I have tried so far. 
Not all of their molds really got along the best with, but the plastics, a lot of the plastics, if you just put it in your hands, you're like, oh, this is one of the top, top companies. Really good, really impressed, really grateful uh, that my patron had me reach out to them because they were able to hook it up. And these are, I'm super stoked on that. I mean, four down at T2 with new discs, battling through a couple bogeys and just being tired. I'm really happy with that play. Really learning to play a little safer and smarter. If you wanna check out the last new kit in the bag, check it out right down here. Really fun company, wild discs, really doing some cool things. Good molds too, obviously. Please subscribe, like the video if you'd want, and then hopefully some Denver content coming within the next couple weeks. So pumped. Okay, love you guys, bye.